team. Well, this game certainly has championship implications for both the SEC East and the SEC West. And Florida and South Carolina certainly did too. But a larger storyline between the Gators and the Gamecocks, Steve Spurrier somehow going against the school that he loved, taking over South Carolina against Florida. Georgia pulling for the head ball coach, needing a little help. And Spurrier's team, which had turned itself around after losing his first three SEC games, Chris Leak picked off on the deflection by Chris Tucker, who suddenly morphs into George Rogers. Look at big Chris Tucker. Watch the moves by the guy. Sweet feet taking the ball all the way inside the five yard line. Not George Rogers, Chris Tucker. You don't have to put Chris Tucker in short yardage situations. Shades of fridge there. Dacus Terman did okay in short yardage too. Crashing in, Gamecocks up 20 to three. 20 to 12 now when Leak dumps it out to Billy Latsko, the fullback. Fullback? Fullback. They discovered a fullback. Urban's adjusting to life in the SEC. And then Blake Mitchell to Sidney Rice. Well, just a great adjustment by Sidney. Had a tremendous day, 112 yards in reception. This was a key one. This answered the touchdown that Florida had just made. 30 to 22, Steve Spurrier beats Florida. South Carolina over Florida for the first time since 1939. Coach, talk about what this is like for you emotionally to beat the Florida Gators. Well, it wasn't beating the Florida Gators. It was winning a big conference game late in the year in front of 80,000 plus. I, I told somebody we finally found a way to keep them in the stands the whole game. And uh, this is just a wonderful win for South Carolina and, and our football team and our fans, everybody. Good. Did, uh, did Steve Spurrier just say it wasn't about beating Florida? Can, can you yeah. pardon me while I roll up my uh -huh. pants legs? Uh -huh. It's a little bit uh -huh. deep in here right now. Uh -huh. Hey, what's it like to go in and beat your whole team like that? You know it's not, oh, just a conference uh, I game. I believe Come Steve on. Spurrier. But Come I want on. to tell you this. To go back and beat a school you coach that is marvelous. Particularly, it has to be great for Steve Spurrier. It's like making a whole one. It's like Christmas. It's like winning a <laughs> national championship. But I'll say this. The the unfortunately, you got to be humble. you got to say, well, I'm happy for our team. <laughs> but looking at this, it's a great win for South Carolina, but the bigger picture in this situation is down the road. Think about recruiting. Now Steve Spurrier goes back to the state of Florida where some of the best recruits in the nation are. He can walk in there against the Floridas, against the Florida States and Miami and say, hey, we got something cooking up here at South Carolina. Maybe you want to come play for the old ball coach. Well, you know what the South Carolina fans are saying now, don't you, Lou? Yeah, been. yeah, yeah. That, that's great, Steve. What are you going to do about Clemson? That, oh, that's and I want to tell you, and that, that's, a, that's a big football game, and I'm impartial, but I want to tell you, go Gamecock. Oh, well, oh, oh, so much for I'm impartiality. I'm impartial. Yeah, that's the most impartial <laughs> thing I've heard in quite some time. So, Steve Spurrier, that is quite a landmark oh. win for the South Carolina program against Florida. Meanwhile, South Carolina, if they can get a three-way tie in the East, they'll go to the SEC championship game back after this.